Hi guys and welcome to the Cow Whispers Creative Cards. I'm Michelle Wright and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Well, I'm already up this morning. I've had my cup of coffee and I'm getting ready to head out into the fields and haul some hay. But before I do, I wanted to show you this adorable card that I made. Really quick, easy, fast, and so fun and cute. Comes from the new Stamp Set Coffee Cafe. You can also purchase the coffee cups dies. If you purchase the bundle, you save 10%. We're not going to use the dies today, but I'll definitely be using them in the future. But what a deal, 10%. So let's set those aside. I hope you guys are ready because we're fixing to have some fun. Let's get started. Everything I use today will be listed in the description part of this YouTube with a direct link back to the uh, my blog post with all the descriptions of the supplies, the measurements, and the instructions. And I will also include in the bottom uh, a direct link to my store for every single item I purchase because I know you guys are going to want these. So let me tell you real quick what we're going to be doing though. Crumb cake, eight and a half by five and a half for the base, scored at four and a quarter. Love the Coffee Break Designer Series paper. So cute, beans on one side. So we're going to be using a piece of that at five and a quarter by four. I've got another piece. Love those coffee rings. Those are four by one and a half. Then I've got a piece of very vanilla, two by five. And I also have a piece of crumb cake, three eighths inch classic uh, weave ribbon that I'm going to be using. So we're going to do just a little different than this one. And you're going to see how fast, cute, and easy it is. So let's go. So right off the bat, of course, we're going to use early espresso. I mean, come on now, you guys. Got to be using the early espresso. We're doing coffee. Jumping over here to my Dauber storage. Of course, I know early espresso is in my neutrals. It's right there. Let's grab it pull it out. We're going to be doing some inking up, so let's get our inking up. I'm going to get a little scrap paste paper over here. Okay, a lot of people struggle with using their daubers and inking the edges. It's all about holding it firmly. And I always go heavier in the corners. I tell you, go heavier in the corners, hold it firmly, and then feather it out. I just, it's a personal thing, but I think it looks much better. Going all the way around. Okay, done. Let's grab our little coffee stained, same thing. See how awesome that espresso looks? I want to tell you guys too that, you know, you can buy the uh, sweet. If you're one of those people that you have a hard time saying, I don't know what goes with what, well, that's the beautiful thing about Stampin' Up! They're sweets, and they give you the paper, and they give you uh, the choices of the designer series paper. This is cut at, like I said, two inches by five inches. This is the triple banner punch. Love this. You simply slide it in there. See, it's got a groove. You can do three sizes. Flip it over, and then... Perfect banner. Does it get any better than that? I don't think so. So let's go ahead real quick. Gotta get that ink on there. You guys know I'm an inkaholic. But I can own it, so that's alright. As long as you can own it. I just think it jazzes it up. Nobody likes boring. Okay. While we've got that out, we're going to go ahead and let's do, first we need to bring in our piercing mat because these are photopolymer. Remember photopolymer, you're going to want to use your piercing mat to get the best stamped image. So this is my coffee cup, inking it up, putting it a little lower because it's got that froth on the top. Just applying pressure for a minute to let that ink absorb into my very vanilla. Got that done. Of course, I have my stamp and scrub over here to the side. Then I'm also want to do 
my sentiment, which says happiness is a cup of coffee shared with a friend. I'm going to do that also. Made to fit inside the coffee cup. In early espresso. Oh, it is so stinking cute. And then here's my froth. So for my froth, though, I'm going to grab some crumb cake because I want it to be just a little lighter. Are you loving it? And last but not least, let's see, get my crumb cake out of the way here. Let's bring all early espresso back in. I'm gonna do some coffee beans. Coffee beans, cute. Let's make sure those are inked up real good, yeah. And I'm gonna do those up here in this corner. Then I'm going to grab my card and I'm going to pivot it just a little bit. But I'm going to put me some coffee beans down here. Mm -hmm. All right. Now let's grab this, get it out of the way. Done with our stamping. So, what I want to do first is I'm going to grab my snail and my little piece of my designer series paper that's got my coffee rings. I think I love it so much because it's so me. Coffee rings everywhere. Cute. All right, now let's grab, and I'm just going to put a little tiny piece of snail right here in the center, just to put my ribbon down because I'm not wrapping this ribbon. I just want it for some design, for some texture. I'm not wrapping it. I'm not wrapping it all the way around and coming back because you know what? I'm a pretty frugal crafter and as far as I'm concerned, that's wasted uh, ribbon. So I just want to get it here, tape it. I just put that snail on the back, tape it. If you put the snail on the ribbon, sometimes it'll draw it up. That's why you don't want to do that. Okay, let's go ahead and put some snail down. Go over your ribbon. That'll help hold it in place, too. And, yes, I use snail, and I use a lot of it because if I go through the trouble to make a card, I want it to stay together. Cute, cute, cute. And put our snail on our banner. Put some down the middle too because we got that ribbon. I'm lining it up here at the top. Isn't it adorable? Look at that. I love it. Okay, remember you guys, Coffee Cafe, Coffee Cups, get the bundle, 10% off. It'll be in the link below in my YouTube. I will also list the stamp set separate and the die separate. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Tell your friends. Um, wishing you a wonderful day and happy crafting.